Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Jocelyn. Today's vlog is another continuation of this patio makeover type of thing. As you guys saw in my last vlog, I feel like the entire vlog, it was just a fail. I was very annoying. I was getting in contact with these people. Nothing was really working out for me. And even my boyfriend was like, it's fine, baby. Everything's gonna work out. But I just get very frustrated because I'm asking you if it's available. Then you proceed to say yes. I go there and you literally go to the entire warehouse trying to find them. You're like, uh, I don't know where it is. You want this instead, but it's more expensive. The whole thing, it was just very frustrating for me. So I was like, you know what? I give up with Facebook Marketplace. I don't care anymore. But I cannot help it. If you guys are be watching my videos constantly, most of my furniture pieces here, I would say actually 90% of it is from Facebook Marketplace. My couch, my dining table, my credenza, my bed. Basically, everything is from Facebook Marketplace. And I've been having great deals with them. Also, these are pieces that they look brand new. They're in perfect condition. So I've been so blessed to have these pieces. So that's why they call me the queen of Facebook marketplace because I scroll, scroll, scroll until I find what I want. So this morning when I wake up, I'm here watching the patio. Matt is laying down over there and I'm like, I really want to have a cup of coffee outside. And yes, I can pull these chairs for now and sit down. But I was like, no, I really want my patio furniture. Like I really want to. So I went back to Facebook marketplace. I started scrolling and I found ones that I think they will look amazing. I wanted some black pieces for the patio. But once I saw these, I was like, it's connecting with the whole thing up here. As you guys can see, well, you guys cannot see right now. But if you guys know, I had these pendant lights from Ikea that they are giving these beachy vibes. And also, I have a blanket here because I was eating and it's pretty chilly today. But like my parcels over here as well is giving these like very vacation vibes. So I'm here thinking like, what I'm always gravitate towards these type of pieces like that. And I'm from the island. So I think this kind of remind me of just very beachy vibes and stuff like that because that's the only explanation that I can have for that and I love it so it's giving these relaxed vibes that I love so I was like okay let me show you guys the set that I just found at Facebook marketplace for only $60 she is 50 minutes away from me I wanted to wait for my boyfriend but he's currently working and she says she's flexible but the sooner the better so I know it's like first come first serve type of thing I don't want to miss the opportunity so we've been going back and forth on messaging so hopefully she don't sell it eventually but let me show you guys real quick. Let me grab my phone. She just messaged me that she's gonna hold it for me because I asked her if I can meet her around 11. Right now it's 9 30. I'm getting my breakfast, my coffee. I want to take Max out with Frago and she's an hour away from me. So I wanted to make sure she can work with me on that. And she was like, No, it's fine. I can hold it for you. So I'm super excited. Okay, so these are the chairs. And she have a disclaimer that here is a little bit broken, but it's very minor. She said it's not like a big deal, honestly. So she was like, You can also get some cushions. If you want to, which eventually I will do. I know Home Goods have some of them. So they are so pretty. It's just giving these vibes very relaxed. And I love it because it comes with a little table over there, which is so cute. Oh, that's the only picture that she had, but it's so pretty. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about how big they are, but honestly, I'm so obsessed with the color, how beachy they look. It's so cute. I asked her if they are heavy. She's like, not at all. So very, very excited. Again, I think I'm only gonna have to purchase the cushions, but I like the color. Like, this is very very pretty i don't think i ever seen something like this it's so pretty and then the table is just perfect so the theme outside is gonna be very greenery it's like inside of the house you know what i mean like just like this with these pendle lights and beachy vibes kind of so it's so cute i love it so much so i'm about to meet her in an hour so i'm just getting ready right now another thing that i'm about to pick up as well which this person is in charlotte too but she's more like another side of charlotte thing because when i google it it was like 30 minutes away i think so this potted barn pillow and insert is $30 and this is something that I've been just obsessed with since I started on Facebook Marketplace. I was like, why nobody speaking this up? Are you kidding me? It's just giving this vintage vibes, which is not vintage, but it's giving that. And I'm like, oh my God, y'all, I've never been in Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel. I feel like these stores are a little bit away from my budget. I like nice things, but as you guys can see, I love everything in a budget and I don't sacrifice quality at all. For example, the couch that I have right now is from Ashley Furniture. It retails for like four or five thousand dollars and I got it for a thousand dollars. Perfect condition, no stains, no scratches, nothing going on. This travertine table, it retails for almost ten thousand dollars. I got it for like a thousand. So I don't sacrifice quality. I still gotta get what I want. I just refuse to pay so much knowing that in Facebook Marketplace or even in thrift stores, people are just getting tired of their decor for so long that they just want to get rid of it. So why I gonna pay full price? Unless it's something that I want brand new, is respectable, but I'm really big on 
budgeting so if i can get the same result with less why not so looking at this pillow from party barn i'm already liking this thing where i just want to visit the store and look what they have and all that because it will be my first time so i don't know when that video is gonna come up honestly i think if i ever go for the first time should i vlog it i don't know if you guys want to see my first reaction i think i'm just gonna be so overwhelmed like filming at the same time i don't know want to show you guys these flowers that my boyfriend brought out to home these are so gorgeous they're very different i don't think i ever seen them before but they're so pretty so full and i told him that i really like to have like white flowers for the island but he cut them and he put in a water and everything he tends to also change the water through the week because i literally forget all the time so i was like baby if you want to bring me flowers just bring me one i'm okay with that <laughs> so we can keep it in the kitchen island and i know it's there and every time i see like it needs more water or i need to change something i can do it but he's so sweet he wanted to buy flowers for our bedroom flowers for everywhere i was like baby i cannot really keep up <laughs> but yeah these are so pretty i love them they look so stunning here in the kitchen island and he got this i think yesterday he came from the grocery store because he stopped by just to buy certain things that we needed but it was so cute i'm obsessed all right it's currently 9 30 i'm about to just get mats too <laughs> know when we talk about him about to take him to the park and just for him to do what he need to do i had to stop by the bank get some money as you guys saw my previous vlog everything has been a fail the tree was a fail the picture phrase was a fail the pattern still was a fail i was like okay i get it i get it so today i was like i feel in a better mood let me try this again and i think it's gonna be successful so yeah very excited i'm about to just go ahead and take care of that and i'll see you guys later Okay, so I just came back and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Let me show you the pillow first, just to get it out of the way. This is from Pottery Barn, right here. Super, super cute. Now, the color looks a little bit different. Sometimes, you know, pictures do things differently. Matt is just crying because my boyfriend is changing my wipers. It's crazy because we went to pick up the plant the other day and that day was raining like crazy. So he was like, you literally driving like this? I'm like, I mean, what do you mean? He's like, baby, your wipers are not good. You need to change them. And you know how sometimes as a woman we are, I'm like, okay, I guess later it's fine. So today he's like, okay, I'm about to change your wipers. And I'm like, what? you mean he ended up buying them he's like got the premium one this quality listen i like to feel safe and protected because this is something that i would definitely do but it would take like the back seat on my list you know what i mean because when it comes to cars it's not like i don't care but i'm like uh, i can change that eventually it's fine he's like no let's get it together <laughs> so yeah i'm very excited because he's taking care of all these things this is the pillow and i absolutely love this pillow i think it's giving this kind of like vintage looking it's not of course but i'm just saying that it's just so pretty the patterns and everything i love this pillow so much like since i saw it i was like i like it so much and i messaged her a few times she wasn't responding to me at all but finally she got back to me in this morning and it ended up working out because when i picked up the set from that place to her place it was only 20 minutes away so it ended up working out perfectly because i thought they were very far away from each other so i was like okay i guess i'm gonna be driving for a long time but obsessed with the colors and everything so let me see how it looks here. I have to wash it, of course, but let's see. See how it's cracking? You see it's cracking? Oh. A large crack. Oh my god. Yeah, it was about to fall apart. <laughs> yeah, that's a. So that's why it wasn't. Oh yeah, no, they were bad. Thank you, baby. Yeah. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hello. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hope y'all doing well. Let's change some wipers. <laughs>
All right, you guys, so here is how the patio looks. I know it's hard to show because this space is very, very tiny, but I'm gonna do my best to show you guys. So I put first chair here and the second chair over here. The table on this area matches right here. <laughs> Loving the breeze. Honestly, he barely come to this patio and every time he comes here, it's like for five minutes and come back, so whatever. I decided to put this tree that I got recently from Facebook Marketplace. It's from Target and I think it looks so much better in this area. I tried to move it around the apartment and honestly, it wasn't looking great. So I like how beautiful it looks here and I love how everything turned out. We just missing the cushions, candles, the outdoor lights and eventually we'll put the wreath over here in this door. This is gorgeous. I love how everything is looking so far. So we're about to go to the store and see if we can find the last pieces for this space. But I'm really excited to see how we ended up putting all this space with only Facebook Marketplace finds. Like all of this, including the plant, is from Facebook Marketplace. I'm excited. So see you guys later. morning it's the rainy next day and we are so excited because today is the day that the patio is gonna be done we went to the stores right after we put all these pieces together and we knew we needed some things to finish the project so i cannot wait to show you guys a mini haul we are so excited today is the day i wanted to finish this vlog yesterday but we were so tired between the drive went back and forth an hour away pick up all these things from facebook marketplace we were burnt out so after that we went to home sense home goods we went to different stores to purchase is the last pieces for this makeover so i cannot wait to show you guys what we got okay i'm gonna start really quickly with something that i was the most excited about is these lights okay we went with this ones because we wanted something more warm and this one had this vintage looking it looks like that and this is for weatherproof solar power led these are 15 feet long which i think is perfect our patio is not crazy big so we don't need like a lot of lights there if we want to add more we can always go to amazon and purchase more but i was looking for prices they tend to go around 40 and above so it's like i don't need to really go too crazy on that as right now and i also didn't want to wait for delivery i really wanted to get this up okay next item i'm very excited because is this gorgeous baby hydrangeas i always call them baby hydrangeas if you are new in my channel i love this type of flowers they are so beautiful i do have ones like that they are from hobby lobby but these are very babies like these are the tiniest ones i've ever seen and this is like a probably something unnecessary purchase because I was like, well, I don't know. We have a lot of greenery already. We don't need that. But I couldn't pass. Even my boyfriend, when he saw it, he was like, baby, we need to purchase this. Like, it's no way you're going to leave this at the store. So these were $20. Super cute with those details. You guys saw the set come with two chairs and a small coffee table. So I think something tiny like this, it will tie out the entire space together. We will see. I told my boyfriend, this is too pretty to be outside. So we will try to put it in the patio area. But if I feel like I don't want to put it there, we can always make a space around the apartment. We're already planning coffees in the mornings evenings outside we're really planning dates over there so with that being said i needed some coasters for the coffee table so i knew i wanted some black and white coaster just to create that pop of color so i got these coasters for 6.99 these are from home goods they are absolutely stunning i think between this and the greenery can you guys see the vibe that i'm going for definitely adding black accents around my apartment including my patio i think this is gonna elevate the space tremendously and i love how this is gonna pair together now next item i'm very confused because i still don't know which one i want to keep so i'm just gonna show you and by the time you guys see this video i most likely made my mind so just leave me the comments down below i'm still gonna read you guys to see which one you guys prefer so i knew for a fact that i wanted some black and white cushions those that had the strips and i remember telling that to my boyfriend and when we got to home sets and we saw it he was like oh this is gonna look so good so i'm going back and forth because i saw another ones that we actually purchased because again i'm not sure so i was like let me just purchase together and then we can make our mind and eventually we can just go ahead and return one of those so so this is the first option that I saw. I am totally in love with black and white. You guys can see even the coasters as well. I think greenery with black and white, it tied up so well together. So I was like, since I have a lot of neutrals in the padded area, this can be like the pop of color. It's not a pop of color, but it's a pattern that it will stand out. So I really do love these. These are $24.99 for the set up too. And it's from the brand Nautica, which I know this brand is amazing. And again, I just love pattern. I think it will tie up the space perfectly. 
away. Now the next cushions that I saw right after that, we went to Home Goods. These are from Homesense, by the way. So we went to Home Goods after that, and I saw these. You already know my obsession with linen, neutrals, and all of that. I was like, baby, I don't know which one I want. It's like and me either because both of them look good. So I was like, let's purchase together. Let's see which one I'm vibing with, and then we decide. What I like about these, these are only thirty dollars, and it comes with four. So over time, you know, if the covers get bad because the weather and stuff like that, I have two more to replace. Also the linen, the color, it just go perfect with the aesthetic of my apartment. You guys know I'm a neutral girl and I love linen. So when I saw these, I was like, okay, this is the two options that I have as far as cushions for the chairs. And I don't know, I like both, I really do. You already know, I need some candles, even for the patio area. It's a St. Trinella and the aroma is so fresh. It's very spring and it smells just like lemon. It's very pretty, I love the packaging. It's very artesian in my opinion. Handmade, you guys can see the texture, the matte black and everything. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's only $12.99 and it's from Hansen's. This is not for the patio, but we really needed some soap for the guest bathroom. So I saw this brand Lady B and it's Honey Almond and it's so creamy. It looks so good and it smells amazing as well. This was only $5.99. I'm naturally a cold girl and I think it's because I'm Latina. So we already have high tolerance when it comes to the heat. So I've been so cold lately, even though it's still spring, right? So I was like, let me get a blanket for outside. Now, because it's not too crazy cold, I'm planning to use this one. I got this from the vintage shop, so I might use this one instead. But we also bought these, and it's like a linen finish, so pretty, for only $24.99. I think it will tie up the space. Very neutral, once again, that's the vibe that we're going for, and I love it. And I also like the ends, super cute. I'm obsessed with this one. This is very pretty. And as you guys saw in my previous videos, I show you guys the read. This is gonna go to the door that leads to the patio area. I think this toilet's gonna look so beautiful, and I cannot wait to hand this off today. Like the whole pad is gonna look so beautiful. I cannot wait. <laughs> And as you guys saw previously in my other videos, we bought two of these. These are so pretty. I love the aesthetic. I love the black handles, how real they look. So we are about to put these in the patio area. And I think it's going to tie out the entire space. I literally cannot wait, you guys. I've been dreaming to get this patio together. Like, we still want to put a rug. We still want to put maybe curtains there. We want to do more stuff. But for now, this is perfect to start because the fact that we didn't have nothing and now we have all these pieces, including the set, I'm so excited. Okay, we're about to head out to the patio area and <laughs> Matt's already he barely come here and now he wants to be outside now that I have furniture He barely has space, but these are the chairs. Here is the plant I think that's good here once again the table and here is the other chair So I don't have too much space to put this camera So I'm about to do my best to do it But we can start putting everything together as I said before my boyfriend is currently buying the hooks for these things So I'm just waiting for him but for the most part but just to start we can definitely start putting the cushions see which one I want to keep and also the candle the flowers the little things struggling so hard to choose which cushions I want to keep. I'm leaning more towards the neutrals to be honest. I think it just complements very well with the whole thing. <laughs> I might just wait for my boyfriend actually. I'm so unsure. So the table is done. I don't want to add anything else. Here is the neutral cushion which I love. I think it looks very, very pretty. And here is the black one. The black and white really pop. But personally I think I like how the neutral goes. And also this one as you guys can see is very small for this chair a lot of gaps this one is still kind of small but it's not too terrible it's more bigger than the other one so not sure <laughs> Matt's not want to lay down even though it's no more room he never wanted to be out here but yeah I think I'm gonna keep the neutrals I think that's the vibe that I'm gonna call for it it's too tiny I don't know if you guys can see once they get in the gaps you see and I don't know. The neutral is just giving more vibes. All right, guys. So my boyfriend just came back and he bought some things. So he's gonna show you guys what he got. 
<laughs> he washed his hair this morning, but he didn't put no product because we are testing my shampoo and conditioner and I wanted to see how it looks, but he normally put a product to define, but yeah. it's not bad. <laughs> I know he's not used to it. You guys know how he is with his hair. Yeah. Went to the world market, got shrimp crackers. We both saw it before. She wasn't too sure about it, but me, I'm kind of curious. So I was just like, I might as well grab it. You know, we could both try it, see how we like it. But I've always heard good things about it, so. One of these things is more like for his country, mm -hmm. you know, like we're trying to incorporate also like stuff from his country and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know. I'm not too sure if you like uh, this. It's like, it's just like a little soda. Okay. Sort of. But it's a carbonated, I don't know how to pronounce that. Got this drink right here. Got that from World Market as well. Got two just in case. One, one. Mm -hmm. But essentially the way this drink works, there's a little marble here. You pop open the top. Press it down, marble drops, and you can drink it. And I got a little bonsai kit. Why is this? Just a little mini bonsai tree. Oh, so it's essentially a little bonsai tree, you know, like those little trees that you see. Do you see? Yeah, it's like a mini one. It grows? Yeah, like, so essentially with the way the bonsai works. Oh my God, yeah. I see these all the time. Yeah. It's a small one, but we can get, I want to Oh, that's like, cute, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to try that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so essentially it's like a little, it's essentially what a bonsai is, it's like a little tree that you grow and then you just sort of bend it whichever way you want it to like, sort of, Cause it doesn't naturally grow like that, you know. Just oh, like, the, oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's not gonna look like that. But. And mm. then I got this. I don't know if you've ever tried that before. I like sushi, but I never, I never. Oh, it's not sushi. Oh, <laughs> it's, what a, is it's a rice cake. I never had that. Oh, uh, it's rice cake. Uh, some people love it. Some people hate it. Uh, I tried it a few times, but it was a long time ago. I liked it. So I got some, and I'm not sure if you like it, but I got some for you too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would like to try it. Yeah. It's been a long I put him on World Market, y'all, and World Market have like a bunch of things from different countries. He always have fun every time we go there. I'm more in the decor section. He's more in the food section. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of good things there. Mm -hmm. I also went to Aldi. I already put it in the fridge, but uh, I want to try and make some uh, meatballs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make some meatballs. But that's why I got this little limited uh, time only seasoning at Aldi. Oh really? Very nice. Oh yeah. Japanese style sweet and tangy Asian barbecue sauce. Mm, yeah. Do you really want to try that? Yeah I want to try uh want to try tossing it up with like maybe some chicken or maybe yeah maybe some chicken. I don't know if we have any other meat that can go with that. So mm. well fiddle track. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to track my face. Yeah I see that. But yeah I'm gonna try putting that literally just like on the picture. With some rice and uh, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a lot of this is from Aldi, but it's just like this. Aldi is the best, yeah. <laughs> I put it on, they got he was stuff. saying before, yeah, you know what I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, I know. He said say. we were arguing, like actually arguing on the phone when we were friends, yeah. and he was like, Aldi is so expensive. He said Walmart is more cheaper than Aldi. I said, Who told you that? He literally was so sure about that, and now he cannot get enough from Aldi. Okay, in my defense, in my defense, online, online. It said, this is like, it stated like what? I forgot, oh, milk, it was about milk. So <laughs> for the milk, it says something like two, 280 or something like that, right? In Walmart, it's like 250 or something. It was, I don't know what the prices are now, but I, that, that was my point. It's just like, I'm not saying it was a lot more expensive. I'm not, I'm not saying you're gonna go broke, but that Aldi was cheaper. is very affordable, like fruits and stuff like that. It's yeah. very good. Yeah. Like every time we go to do like a whole grocery, let's say we might be spending like $100. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. And we have a lot of things, right. detergent, mm -hmm. like paper towels, like literally everything. Online price is wrong. That's the end, end of the story. Well, he's all about online. Like he ordered everything online, yeah. literally. Like if you go to McDonald's, he ordered online to pick it up. Like it's all online. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, you get, so you, you, get, you get reward points for it. You don't just buy it. You also get some some return. You, know, you might as well get some free stuff as well. I'm old school. <laughs> oh yeah, what is oh, this? Yeah. But this grilled white chicken fettuccine and Alfredo sauce. Mm -hmm. And it comes to everything as well. So. It's pretty much like done, right? Oh yeah, literally. Oh, yeah, literally. Just, just put it like on the oven. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because I think it comes with the also thing. No, maybe that's plastic. No, it, it, com it, com safe. it comes with the bowl. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I think it's more for the microwave, actually. It mm -hmm. feels like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Eight minutes, eight minutes yeah. in the microwave. Boom. Damn. There you go, whole meal. Eight mm. minutes. <laughs> it's nice yeah. for like shrimp, right? Mm -hmm. I also stopped by Target. My mm. favorite is Target? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know. Got some uh, gentle floss because uh, somebody's got uh, delicate gums. You know? so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's me. <laughs> and I told him he don't have to. Yeah, and I, still I mean, buy it. I mean, you know, I got to. I don't want you to be 
It's fine, baby. But sometimes it stresses me out because I'm like, baby, it's fine. I got it. I got it. And he like, no. No, no. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got hooks. The ones that you screw in. They're white as well. And then I also got the command hooks as well. In case. Those are for outdoors, right? Yeah, outdoor. Yep. Okay. Made sure. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay, good. Because yeah, I wanted something that is resistant, you know? Yeah, outdoor, uh, specifically for the outdoor. I don't right. even know if that came up on camera, but... <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay. But yeah, light clips and then the uh, hook for the uh, plants as well. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I got a little wreath hanger from the uh, World Market, actually. Oh, yeah. It's Matte as well. There How much it is? $7.99. It's not bad. Yeah, I was planning to stop by Walmart and grab a, a different one, but um, it's a little bit longer. It, he said it was like more glossy, like shiny. Yeah, it was very, a little bit more shiny. Which I wouldn't so. mind, but honestly, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, yeah. He, he had the perfect one because I like matte black, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yep. He knows me so well. Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> you know me very well. Yeah. I'm about to have this raving a little bit. Okay. Then, just got up. Yeah, stuff. We'll, yeah we'll just home stuff, kitchen, kitchen stopper, mold for the sink stop food from coming down got this as well or essentially there's a furniture that she has <laughs> that has some glass on top and in the move sadly um the little i don't even know what to call them like that little plastic bumper circles whatever they are they essentially came off of the furniture and they were lost so yeah, yeah it's just to make sure that the glass doesn't break and it also like stay like mm -hmm. Yeah, keeps it. Oh, oh yeah, stay, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, helps it stay in place as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Got some toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just some toothpicks for um, after we also, for my sandwiches, it's just like an aesthetic thing. When I make sandwiches, I like to put a little toothpick and an olive on top. Oh, yeah. yeah, cool. that's cute. Yeah. Because <laughs> I always see it, I'm just like, okay, it looks, it looks good. And I always do it like that. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yeah. baby. I'm exaggerating. Yeah, I know, baby. I saw it. I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> <You're> right, <baby. laughs> These men pay attention so much for the things that I say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got a... So we have hot sauce already, but she mentioned before that, you know, it, she doesn't mind using that one, but she mentioned before she prefers Texas Pete, so... Yeah, Texas Pete. Because I don't <laughs> like, he likes spicy food. I think yeah. it's more for like his culture. Mm -hmm. I personally, if you're Puerto Rican, Dominican, you know we don't really eat spices at all. Like spicy stuff, we don't do that. So we like spicy food and I like the flavor of spicy. I just don't like it to be too hot. I don't mind a little bit, but I don't like too spicy. Like I like to enjoy my food. So I just hate when I'm eating something good, but I'm like, like no, I don't like that. Yeah. But I mentioned this sometimes like casually, I would say even the one that he currently have right now that is almost like Texas, I would say, oh, give me like the Texas one, but like it's not. Mm -hmm. So I never asked him to do it, but thank you. Mm, <laughs> What is that? And then it's a uh, Chipotle cheddar cheese. Oh my god, that sounds good. Yeah, I saw it. it looks. Oh my god. I like it. Actually, uh, it's like, like looks good. look like, at this. Back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is perfect for like the summer burgers. Mm -hmm. We still have some left. Yeah. <laughs> no, serious. Because no, one of the salmon burgers that we have mm -hmm. is um, Chipotle. Yeah. So adding the Chipotle. Oh, that's going to be lit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I want to do that one. Instead of pepper jack, we can use that one. Absolutely. So it's not too cheesy, right? Yeah. yeah. And just some more normal stuff. Got a uh, lower sodium bacon. Haven't tried it yet, but... Try to keep your baby healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to stay somewhat healthy. I mean, bacon isn't exactly the healthiest thing. It's so good. But it's, we it's don't really eat it that good. much no, though. No, we just yeah, started no. maybe yeah. like two weeks ago to do it like that. Yeah, but maybe, we're maybe, maybe a few slices here and there, but it's not like... And Daily. it's been yeah. times where sometimes while we buy both of them, remember like yeah. turkey and bacon, yeah. and we would like switch. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep a good balance. That's all it it's is. It's just like bacon, it just hit different with mm -hmm. the breakfast. And just some normal eggs, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the jalapeno, because mm -hmm. this man, I'm telling you, he just like everything <laughs> spicy. Sure do. Oh, that can see it. Yeah. yeah. Everything spicy. Got this right here. I know it's Axe, it's Axe, whatever, but... <laughs> <laughs> what happened with that? <laughs> huh? Not every, everybody's saying like Axe is for like children and all that, which I, I kind of get. Like, like 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 teenagers, you know what I mean? Like high school, they're spraying. Oh. But in, 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 if you guys obviously been in school, you know, obviously in the locker room, there's going to be a lot of spray 
flying around and it's gonna be smelling rank in there. But whenever I use Axe Dark Temptation, she always loved that smell. Always. Yeah, I got always yeah. something in here. Always. It just smells so clean. Yeah. I, honestly, I don't know who started saying that because when it comes to smell, I don't care. Like, it's giving like a really like manly, you know? Mm -hmm. And this is just like on the go. Yeah. Like, I get if it's teenagers using it, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. As long as I like it, you like it, it's fine. There you go. Suppose that. Then I got Axe Black Vanilla. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's like a new scent for me, right? Yeah. I haven't really seen that one before. Well, it says new, obviously, but I like the smell. I love the smell. It smells very nice. Then I, I had a whole set like of this. I had this. Uh, if it'll track. I had this. It was like a little bowl that came with it, and it's like a little bit of a. Um, like soap that you whisk around and it like foams up. Oh my gosh, it was great. That's like, it's like when I like actually like shave, shave. I wanna go back to like shaving. It's just like, <laughs> I have a baby face and it's, I hate, I love, I love having the clean look, but it's just like, I have such, such a baby face when like I completely shave and it's annoying because it's just like, it's like a blessing and a curse to like look young. You know what I mean? It's just like, when you look, I mean, like looking young, it's it's already like a good thing, right? But it's just like you don't want to eventually look too rough. But at the same time, I don't know. You you'll be older than what people think you actually are, and then they treat you differently. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. It, it's it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Very yeah. frustrating. Listen, I don't think I ever say where I work. If you guys get the hint, you guys will know. But I'm a system manager and that's something that it happens a lot you know they see me because i'm very tiny i'm a woman mm -hmm. and then i look very young so like recently somebody was like oh you're like 22 right as soon as i say my age that man has so much respect for me now and that's what you want puppy so yeah trust me when it comes to my job i had to earn respect you know i have to earn respect because i look more younger than what i actually am so i totally get what you're saying yeah but that's why I usually keep this going on, but I don't know, maybe I want to try shaving again, maybe just to see, I don't know, go back to that look a little bit, just for, maybe like for a week at least. I don't know, I like, I like the clean shave. Because then I'll be looking too scraggly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not pretty. Oh, pretty, yeah, I'm about to put it up right now. All right, y'all, so we're about to make breakfast, uh, get some of this put away, and I will see y'all later.